What is up guys and welcome back to Utah Utes Dynasty. We're here today, the number 12 ranked Utah Utes will be taking on the 2-8 and eight Arizona State Sun Devils in a game that should have a lot of meaning towards it as we just lost to their rival Arizona. But James Poole currently leading the Heisman uh, just took the lead over Taysom Hill after Taysom Hill probably lost. As we look at the reason for all of Arizona State's struggles this season, it has been their banged up team. So hopefully we can take advantage of all the injuries that this team has and just get a win. Because it is senior day and I bet these seniors, they want to win. And so hopefully we can get them their win as we have many seniors on this team like Travis Wilson and James Poole and Kenneth Scott who will play in their final game at home for the Utes. So now back to return is a freshman Wesley Johnson who's definitely not leaving for another four years. As he'll take it out of the end zone. There goes Johnson. Cuts it to the outside. Gets it to the 20, 25. Tackled at the 30 yard line. And now here comes this Utes offense. Poole will get the handoff here to start this game. To the outside he goes. Cuts it up but he's banged at the uh, after getting a gain of 8. So now Poole in motion. Oliver gets the handoff right up the middle. And he'll get it close to the 50 yard line. First and 10 now for Utah. And here we go again. Now Wilson will... Keep it himself, and he's going to go right up the middle, gain of 11, another first down for Utah. This team really looking good here on offense. Wilson's first pass of the game, he's looking, dumps it off, Greg Reese on the reception, and he gets it to the 31-yard line. Wilson once again now, hands it off to Poole, but Poole will be stuffed on third down, and a great stop by this Arizona State defense, so we'll have to try and kick a field goal here, and so, just barely squeaks in. That one was close from Sutcliffe. So now here is Manny Wilkins, the young quarterback that's taking over for Mike Bercovici. And he gets a gain of 9. So now on second and 1, it's to Lauderdale. There goes Lauderdale down the sideline. He gets to the 40-yard line. A big first down for Arizona State. Second and 10 now. Wilkins gives it to Hayes. And Dechavon Hayes will lose 7 from Jason Whittingham. Third and 17 now. Wilkins going to dump it off to Hayes. Hayes trying to get somewhere, and he won't even get to the 45, so they'll be forced to punt it away. Utah's got it again. Wilson now will run it. He's got space and makes a juke, and he'll be down an inch shy. So now the handoff is to Oliver. Oliver is met, and he'll lose a yard, so we'll be forced to punt it away. Now Wilkins will get the run. He's got some blocks by his wide receivers, and a big block that time, and he's going to go all the way to the end zone. Manny Wilkins with a big time run, 44 yards all the way to the end zone. Arizona State now has the lead, 7-3. And now Wilson back to throw. He's looking for a man scrambling to his right. He's going to throw to Smith, and Smith will be hit, and he'll drop the ball. First and 10 now for the Utes. Poole will not get it. Wilson looking to throw, and it's caught by Matt Anderson over the middle. And he gets a solid gain of 24. Now Poole will get the handoff to the outside. There goes Poole. Tries to cut it in, and he will get a gain of 9. Second and 1 coming up in Poole. Motion. Oliver gets the handoff. He's going to go. And Oliver with another great run. Now we're in the red zone. First and 10 now. Poole won't get it. Wilson looking, and he is sacked on the play. Down goes Wilson. So now it's the backup, Kendall Thompson. Everybody wanted him to start. A lot of people did. Now Thompson trying to make something happen. And he's looking. He's trying to make something happen. There he goes. Kendall Thompson. Look at Kendall Thompson. Now I see why everyone wanted him to start. Look at that play by Kendall Thompson in his first play in at quarterback. He gets a touchdown. So 10-7 to now. Wilkins, a screen play. Set up for Gamage. And Frederick Gamage gets a gain of 8. Second and 2 coming up. Third and 5. Wilkins back to throw. Dumps it off to Gamage. Gamage gets it to the 40-yard line. As that will end the first quarter here in Utah. As Utah leads this one 10-7 over the Sun Devils. But definitely this offense has been looking pretty good. And then trying to throw the ball a whole lot more than running it this game. Try to change it up a little bit. So now second and three. Wilkins will hand it off to Hayes. Hayes to the outside will get the first down as he reaches the ball over. Second and seven coming up. Wilkins back to throw. He throws it this time to Hayes, and Hayes has got it over the middle, a gain of 8. 7.20 to go here in this second quarter. Wilkins trying to run. There he goes. Breaks a tackle, and he's got the first down. A great run that time by Manny Wilkins. 
And now he's back to throw once again. He dumps it off this time to Washington, who breaks a tackle, but then is swarmed by that Utah defense. Third one coming up. Wilkins will try to run, but he won't. Justin Thomas brings him down in the backfield, so they'll be forced to kick a field goal. It'll be 10-10. to -10. Wesley Johnson is back to return this one now. He's going to bring it out of the end zone. And there he goes. Johnson to the outside. Gets some blocks. Wesley Johnson to the 40, 45, 50 as he just crosses the 50. Now Utah's got good field position. And the handoff is to Poole to the outside. There goes Poole. Poole's got it. He could get to the 25-yard line, and he does. A great run that time by James Poole. As we look, he breaks his own record from last year. James Poole breaking James Poole's record. 592 yards, a new season record. Congrats to him. He definitely has earned it this season. So now Wilson is looking to throw. He's going to throw, and he's got Greg Reese into the end zone. It's a touchdown here for Utah, and they retake the lead. The score is 17-10. to Five minutes to go here in the second quarter. Hayes will get the handoff to the outside, and he is met that time by Hunter Dimmick, uh, and he will be taken down third and 11 now. Wilkins looking to throw, throws it, and it will be out of bounds, so it will not be complete. And now Utah will get it again. 17-10 is your score. Matt Anderson on the reception. He gets it to the 40-yard line, and another first down here for Utah. Four minutes to go. Wilson looking to throw. He throws, throws one deep, way over the head that time of uh, Ragland. So now Wilson was time will fake it. He's looking. He throws, and he's got it to Greg Reese. Reese has got it, and he's got it inside the 10-yard line. So now it'll be second and goal for the use. Hanley in motion, fake the pool, looking for a man, floats it up. But it will be intercepted. He was looking for Greg Reese as he just lofted it a little bit too much and allowed for him to get the ball. So now Washington will make the reception here for Arizona State. And he's going to gain of 16. Second and five now. Wilkins back to throw over the middle. It's Washington. Filiaga can't bring him down. Then he will be brought down after he gets the first down. Second and five now. Wilkins gives it to Hayes. But Hayes is met in the backfield. He will be brought down. So now Wilkins back to throw again. Screen play this time. Hayes trying to make something. Tries to cut it up, but he's met by that defense. And he will be stopped. And it's another punt. Actually, long field goal this time they're going to try from Arizona State. And Wesley Johnson will try to bring it out of the end zone. He's going to cut it to the outside. There goes Johnson. Can he get around the corner? He'll get it around to the 36, so we'll lose four after the Johnson return. So now Wilson's going to take it and run. He can't find anyone open, and he will be popped after he crosses the 50-yard line. And now we got 50 seconds to go. Wilson looking. He throws it. A great throw that time to Delshawn McClellan. McClellan's got it near the 20-yard line. And another good pickup. Second and 10 now. Handoff is the pool, and he is stopped in the backfield. Loss of two. Pool has not been getting going this game. 15 seconds to go, trying to make something happen. Wilson throws, and it's intercepted that time by Carrington. And another interception for this Arizona State team. As that will end the first half here. Arizona State only down by 7 to Utah. This team has definitely not looked as good. I definitely have been trying to throw the ball a whole lot more. That's where that 138 passing yards comes from. And only 128 rushing yards still. And we've also been holding the ball a lot more. But we do have two turnovers more. So they will start with the ball. Wilkins will fake it, and he'll throw it over this time to Gamage. Gamage has got it across the 40, and he's got another big-time gain. And now Wilkins back to throw, trying to make something happen. He's going to run it. There goes Wilkins. Wilkins breaking tackles, getting it all the way down to the 40-yard line, a gain of 19. Wilkins now trying to run. There goes Wilkins. He's got a first down across the 30-yard line. A big pickup from Wilkins. He's been running the ball very well. And now it's Frederick Gamage on the run. There goes Gamage. He gets a block. Breaks a tackle into the end zone. It's a touchdown for Arizona State. And they tie this game back at 17. So now the fake from Wilson. He's looking for a man. He's got it to Delshawn McClellan as he twists and turns around to the 45-yard line. Once again, Wilson back to throw. He's looking for a man sitting in the pocket. And he throws it to Kenneth Scott, who's got it for a gain of 13. And now Wilson back to throw. He's looking. Dumps it off. Greg Reese has got it. He tries to make a juke, but he can't. So now here we go again. The option attack. Wilson's going to run, and he's got the first down. A great run that time by Travis Wilson. 
Second and four. Pool in motion. Handoff. Oliver up the middle. And Oliver's got a gain of five. So here we go again. First and ten now for the Utes. Wilson. Play action. Looking for something. And he gets it that time to Kenneth Scott. And he'll be a few yards shy. So now Poole in the backfield gets the handoff. He's got some blockers. Poole to the outside. Dives into the end zone. It's a touchdown for Utah. And this score will now be 24-17 as we retake the lead. Under five to go. Wilkins back to throw. He's looking for a man over the middle. And he's got one. As that one was Tyler Wiley on the reception. First and ten. Wilkins gives it to Hayes. Hayes will be met and taken down in the backfield that time by Charles Henderson. Third and eight. Wilkins looking for a man. Hits his running back. Hunter Dimmick brings him down in the backfield. Great play that time by Hunter Dimmick. First and ten. Now we have the ball. Wilson fakes. And he's looking deep. He's got Matt Anderson. Who breaks the tackle? There goes Anderson. 20, 15, 10, 5. Tripped up at the one-yard line. What an effort by Matt Anderson. And now, Poole in the backfield with the handoff, and we score once again, as this score will now be 31-17, to making it a two-touchdown lead. 3.33 to go. Wilkins back to throw. He's looking for a man. He's going to try to scramble to his right, and he does. He's got the first down, and he plows his way ahead to the 40-yard line. And now Wilkins back to throw again. It's a screen set up, and Hayes has got it. Breaks a tackle, and he gets the first down. A great effort at that time by Dechavon Hayes to get the first down. And once again, they try the screen, but this time we have it read so perfectly. And now Wilkins now trying to run again. And this time he will be taken down. Fawn Nwuku won't let him go. Another field goal attempt. This one is wide left. As now Johnson will try to take it out of the end zone. There goes Johnson cutting it, cutting it again. And Johnson's got it to the 30-35 and near the 40-yard line. So here we go. Wilson, play action, and he's sacked. He gets sacked on that play as no blocking from our offensive line. Wilson now back to throw once again. He's looking. As the pressure comes, it's tipped away. Great effort that time by Jeremiah Thompson to tip it away. We'll be forced to punt. Wilkins now throwing a minute to go, and Lauderdale will make the reception. He's got a gain of 12. And now trying to get a line in this quick offense. Wilkins will be hit. And taken down, Justin Thomas delivering the blow. Wilkins back to throw. It's a screen set up. And Tassini brings him down. He read that one all the way as we hit the end of the third quarter. It is 31-17. The Utes currently leading as they'll get the ball back after the Arizona State punt that will be coming up. So hopefully we can uh, take advantage of that. And we've got the ball. First and 10. Now Poole gets the handoff right up the middle. There goes James Poole. He's got the first down. Plus a gain of 14. Once again now, Wilkins fakes it. He's looking, scrambling to his right now. He's going to try to find something. And it's caught by Kenneth Scott. And Scott's got it inside the 10-yard line. What a play by Kenneth Scott. Wilson now, play action, looking, throwing. And that one is caught by Greg Reese. He was covered very well that time, but he still managed to make the catch. And it's another touchdown here for Utah. 38-17 is the score. Wilkins back to throw, and he is sacked again by Hunter Dimmick. He's making some plays out there today. Wilkins now back to throw. Gives it to Hayes. Dechavon Hayes breaks the tackle. And look at Hayes get the first down. A great run that time by Dechavon Hayes. Under six to go. Wilkins gives it to Hayes. Hayes will be hit and taken down in the backfield. He'll lose one. Third and 11 coming up. Wilkins... Dumps it off. Hayes makes the reception on the screen. But he is hit that time by Filiaga. He wouldn't let him go. So once again, 4th and 13. They're going to try to go for it. Wilkins lofts one up. Nearly intercepted that time by Charles Henderson. Great defense on the play. So now we're up by 21. And Wilkins back to throw. And Wilson will be taken down. 3rd and 11. Or 3rd and 10 now coming up. Wilson back to throw. And he will be sacked again. As no one was open, good coverage that time by Arizona State will have to punt. Under three minutes to go nearly as he'll throw it this time. Smith's got the reception. He's got it across the 50-yard line. First and 10 now for Arizona State. Wilkins back to throw, and he dumps it off to Smith now, and he's got a first down across the 40-yard line. Wilkins back to throw. 
trying to make something happen. He does just dump it off to Hayes. Hayes will make the reception, but he'll lose seven. Third and seven coming up. Wilkins back to throw. Trying to make something happen. He's going to run. There goes Wilkins. Filiago will bring him down after he gets across the 25-yard line. And a pickup of 12. Second and three now. Wilkins back to throw. Over the middle. He's got Wiley. Wiley's got it inside the five-yard line. It will be first and goal for Arizona State. And now here we go. He throws, and he's got Tyler Wiley in the end zone. It's another touchdown here for Arizona State as they make it a 14-point game. So now they'll try the onside kick. And they will get it. Paul's got it this time. And he will be taken down. So now he's got to try to run this clock out. But they have all their timeouts. Poole gets the handoff. This time he's got the first down. And he's taken down. 2.12 to go. We give it to Poole. He's trying to get somewhere and he can't. He's taken down another timeout. They have two minutes. Third and 12. Wilson trying to run it here. He won't go anywhere. So he will be taken down. It will be forced to punt once again. So now Wilkins back to throw. He's looking. He throws. And Reginald Porter gets another interception to his credit this season. What a season he has had on defense. And senior day is over. James Poole finishes 94 yards and two touchdowns in his last game here at Utah. Travis Wilson nearly had over 300 yards. And a great effort on his part too. I'll admit we probably could have put up 55 points but I was trying to do some other stuff. I was more of trying to throw the ball today. And it actually did work. And even if you look here, Kendall Thompson's amazing run. As I can't wait for next season. As he's not going to play this season unless Wilson gets hurt. That's for sure. Because Wilson has de definitely led us to a good season. Currently sitting at 9-2. and two And leading the Pac-12 South. Hopefully we can win next week against Colorado. And extend what we have going here. But it's another great win. This one should have been bigger, but this team definitely did not show its best effort today. It was almost looked like we were just kind of slouching through this game, expecting a win. But Arizona State definitely gave us a game here today. So we come away with the win, and James Poole hopefully will extend his Heisman candidacy. It's all we've got at this point, and the Pac-12 championship, and maybe one of those January 6th polls. So we'll see you guys against Colorado. Have a great day, and goodbye.